Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got a couple of interesting bodybuilding updates and the first one is our retired 7-time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath who retired relatively recently, like 3 or 4 years ago and as you guys know, he won 7 titles he tried to win his 8th one in 2018, he failed then he tried it again in 2020, he failed so he had some unfinished business and for that reason, I guess everybody was kinda hoping that he might come back and compete once again because back in his day when he was at his best he was pretty much unbeatable, like, he was so dominant he was the most dominant bodybuilder since Ronnie Coleman and like he was really really good, but then he retired because of his hernia and uh, this is his physique right now and I think at this point it's very safe to say that Phil Heath is done, Phil Heath is no longer in conversation of winning another Mr. Olympia title or even competing again at the Mr. Olympia or at the Arnold Classic I mean, could he come back and compete still? Sure, sure, but could he come back and be at his absolute best? No, no, I think that at this point it's 100% it's sure, Phil Heath is done. So as you just saw in that little video, like uh, all that's left of Phil Heath is basically his arms and you can see that midsection, you know, it was problematic when he was competing, when he was bigger but now that he downsized a lot, it still doesn't look very good and that was the reason why he retired, why he couldn't win any more shows his, his gut was just messed up, you know, he had a couple of surgeries, I believe and, you know, it was hanging out, it was looking very, very not aesthetic so, yeah, he apparently couldn't fix it and even when he downsized, maybe there is no more bubble gut there it's not a big, big stomach, but you can still see that it doesn't look very good he still absolutely does have the arms, the arms didn't go away, like this guy was known for his arms and the arms stayed, absolutely, they're actually looking very good like the biceps and both triceps are, you know, still long and full usually with age, muscle tends to get uh, shorter and the tendons get longer but that didn't happen with Phil Heath, at least with his arms the arms are still freaking massive, you know, the triceps are freaking huge uh, the bellies are still low inserted, very long and full like the arms, he has the arms, for sure, but that's about it as you can see the shoulders are much much smaller and he seems way more narrow in the shoulders like he was always known for having narrow shoulders but when he was active he was you know working on those delts very hard and he got them to be really big really blown up and with those 3D humongous delts he didn't look that narrow in the shoulders but now that he downsized and I'm guessing he's off I mean, as far as I know, he's only on TRT and a couple of other things, but like he's not doing anything more, and I think it's it's visible. So he definitely lost that fullness, that that, that size, that uh, roundness, fullness in the shoulders. Arms are still hanging, and like chest and overall muscularity. You know, it's okay for a retired bodybuilder, it's actually pretty good He didn't really lose that much muscle, that much size I mean, compared to what he was when he was at his peak, sure But like, for a retired bodybuilder, he's not exactly small No, he's not small, but like, you can see, especially in the shoulders Like, his shoulders got really narrow And the other thing, of course, is his midsection You can see some scarring as well And like, I mean, overall, like, he doesn't have a bubble gut anymore but his entire midsection area is a lot bigger, I mean, everything else is smaller, but that area stayed the same, which is normal, which happens with age, and I'm guessing he probably tried actively to downsize a little, because after he retired, he actually remained quite big, and there was absolutely no reason for him to walk around with all that mass if he doesn't want to compete anymore. I mean, it would be awesome if he could stay big forever, but eventually his body wouldn't be able to hold on to the tissue and again, it's unnecessary and it's unhealthy, so he probably decided to downsize a little and yeah, he definitely does look a lot smaller, but still pretty big for the tired bodybuilder once again now as far as him coming back ever again, competing at the Mr. Olympia, winning another title that's out of conversation, that, that, that's done, we can be pretty sure about that the rumors can be put to bed, nobody was really talking about it for the past year or so but like two years ago everybody was talking about it because he actually looked pretty freaking big but now, and now that he showed his physique as well, finally yeah, it's clear, it's 100% sure 
Phil Heath is officially retired, and even if he decided to come back at some point, and he got his size back, with the way his physique is looking right now, yeah, he's not placing high at a Mr. Olympia ever again, I'm pretty sure about that. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next up we got a physique update from Quinton Araya, and if you guys watched my previous video about Matt Jensen, Quinton's former coach, what he said is basically, after the New York Pro, Quinton felt like he can beat 270 at the next show he does, which was Toronto, and 280 on stage by the end of the year. And did he do that? I think he was around 270 at Toronto Pro, maybe even heavier. But right now, Quinton's weight is over 290, actually 294 tops. As you can see right here, so he wrote it down, his weight is almost 300 pounds. What about his conditioning? Well, he's not posting back physique updates, he's only posting front shots. And in these shots, he's actually looking pretty good. Like, conditioning, yeah, sure, it's not ready for the stage, but if he did a couple of weeks of, like, uh, dieting and, like, uh, a peak week, could he be ready for the stage? I think he could. Maybe not with, like, uh, Hari Japan conditioning, but, like, with Samson Dauda or Andrew Jack kind of conditioning, which I think would suit him very well for his height. So, for those of you who are saying he made no progress... I think this means he actually did make some progress, because if he's actually in okay shape at 294, that's heavy, that's a lot of weight, that's a lot of muscle. And he actually did show a little bit of his back on his stories, but here he says uh, glutes are holding on by a thread. What does that mean? I mean, to me it sounds like he's not even trying to stay in shape. To me it sounds like he started his off-season. Now, maybe some of you guys know, if you follow his, uh, I don't know, YouTube channel or his stories regularly, I didn't catch it, but did he say anything about uh, stopping, the off stopping the prep and moving to the off-season? If you guys know, tell me down below, but to me, this sounds like that. Yeah, it sounds like he's done. Or maybe he's taking some time off, a little bit longer time off, and then he's gonna try to dial it in for the show. Because originally, I know he planned on doing more shows. More than just one after the New York Pro, so I don't know what the plan is right now, but he looks like he can, you know, sharpen it up in a couple of weeks and, you know, compete at like 280 at least, which is heavy, maybe even more than that, maybe like 285, I don't know, but if what Matt Jensen says is true, if he's actually holding most of his fat in his back and his glutes and his hamstrings, well, then I think he can still get in shape for a couple of more shows. I mean, again, he's not exactly super shredded right here, but in a couple of weeks, if he pushed for conditioning, and if he dried out, he could look very good. For a guy of his height, he doesn't need to be super conditioned. You know, he has the shape, he has the size, the frame, uh, conditioning would be an extra thing, sure, but he doesn't need to be super ripped. So, I don't know if he's done, maybe he's gonna do another show, Vancouver is in two weeks, so he might jump into that one, he will have Canadian judges at that show as well, and who is his competition in this show? Hassan Mustafa, he already beat him, and uh, John Jewett, he already beat him as well, so if he really wanted to, he could probably get that Mr. Olympic qualification by winning one Cooper Pro, we'll see what his plan is, but yeah, I think he should do it, and I think he could win, what do you guys think? And we also got a physique update from John Jewett, and as far as him, I mean, yeah, like, he, his conditioning is good, but I think it's much better in his physique updates on Instagram than it is on stage. Like, on stage, his detail is kinda washed up. I don't see the deep separation when he's on stage. And also, like, his midsection, it looks weird in a couple of shots, like, the belly button is popping out a little bit too much, it doesn't look very aesthetic, and the front lat spread also, his stomach doesn't look very good in that one. So, I don't, I'm not a fan of his structure, I'm a fan of what he did in the past uh, year, switching from 212 to the open, like how much muscle he made and, you know, how, how lean he stayed the entire year and still made progress, and, I mean, the condition that he's bringing, like, it's still very good, it's not what I expected, but it's still very good, so I, I respect this guy, I, I like him, but as far as, like, his physique, at this point, since he's, like, a top open pro, you can say, at this point, I have to criticize him a little bit more heavily, so 
I can't say I really love his physique, you know. He's a shorter guy, blockier guy, with the midsection that's not the most pleasant to the eye, so I think Quinton can take him out. Even if he's more conditioned, you know, with his structure and his shape, I think Quinton is still superior. So I think Quinton can win a Mr. Olympic qualification against John Jewett at Vancouver Pro, but if Quinton doesn't do it, then it's gonna be it's gonna be John versus Hassan. And in that case, it's going to be absolutely John. Hassan, he needs like 12 more weeks to get in shape. So I don't think Hassan is going to be in shape. And even if he's in decent conditioning, he still can't beat uh, John Joyt. I don't think so. These guys have like pretty similar structure. They are, you know, close in size. They're both very big. Sure, Hassan is bigger, but John is big enough. So for Hassan to beat John, he needs to be really conditioned. And I don't think that's happening. Not this year. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. And we got another physique update from Stefan Matala at 8 days out of his show and man, whenever I see this guy I'm always more impressed than the previous time because right now, look at this freaking physique. He looks like he was carved out of stone at this point, like his conditioning got really, really good. I am really impressed with his shape, with the structure but also like with the muscle bellies, the fullness in the arms and the shoulders and that chest that has a million lines and like also the legs are very detailed now that he's in conditioning waist looks super small this has to be one of the most impressive classic physiques in the world right now we'll see how he's gonna do at his show but I'm pretty sure he can win it and then I'm really, really super curious to see him on the Mr. Olympia stage against all the top guys because, uh, yeah, I think he's definitely on that level. And he barely made a weight, so he's a freak. He's a big guy. He also has a lot of muscle. With crazy shape. And now he also figured out the conditioning as well. Especially that chest. Like That chest looks like, literally, like it was carved out of a rock. Like, he is so freaking hard in that chest. It has so many separation. That's also a genetic thing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's very conditioned. It's it's unusual to see guys in classic physique this freaking hard, this freaking conditioned. And he had to suffer from what I heard from Patrick Tour. He had to do a lot of cardio, really suffer with the diet. And he made a weight, but he looks super, super peeled. And he still didn't lose the shape. You know, the bubbliness, the roundness, uh, the small waist, it still all looks really well. It, lo it all flows super well. What an amazing classic physique, guys. What do you think? How he's gonna do at the Mr. Olympia? Because we can be pretty sure he's gonna win his pro qualifier. Actually, Mr. Olympia qualifier. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.